Hi and welcome to Linear Equations with Unknowns on Both Sides. Uh, just before we start, a quick reminder that there is a notes chapter available for this video. Just check the description below for a download link and you can work along with me as we go through the video. Okay, so in each of the questions we're going to look at today, um, you will notice that there is um, a letter on both sides of the equation. So if I just take a quick look at the first one, 3a equals a plus 6. So the letter that we want to find the solution to, well, that is on both sides of the equation. Now, there is one very important step in all of these questions. No matter what, whatever the smallest amount of the letter is, that is what you want to remove first. So in each case, as soon as you've done that step, you've now got a question just like uh, ones you will have seen previously where you were solving with just a single letter um, on one side of the equation. And so if you are someone who uh, prefers the flowchart method, you'll be able to apply the flowchart method as well to solve the equation, but you must remove one set of the letter first. And so let's just have a look at how we would do that. So in 3a equals a plus 6, well, the first thing is, which is the smallest amount of a? Well, it is this one. There is only one of them. And so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to subtract a. And I'm going to subtract a from both sides of the equation. And so 3a take away a gives me 2a. And on the right hand side, I had a and I took a away. And therefore, I'm just left with the plus 6. Now, this is an, an, uh, an equation with just a single unknown, 2a equals 6. I need to get a on its own, and so I need to undo the multiplication, and so I'm going to divide by 2 on both sides, and so 2a divided by 2 is a, and 6 divided by 2 is 3. In 4b equals b plus 3. Well, again, we need to first identify what the smallest amount of b is. Well, in this case, it's this one. And so that is what I'm going to subtract. I'm going to subtract b. And I'll do it on both sides. So 4b take away b is 3b. And b take away b would leave just the 3. And therefore, if I want to get b all on its own, well, I'm going to have to do a division. I'm going to divide by 3 on both sides. So b equals 1. In the third question, we've got 5c equals 3c plus 8. So again, the question is, what is the smallest amount of c? Well, the smallest amount is the 3c. And so that is what I'm going to subtract. I'm going to subtract 3c in this case. If I subtract 3c, well, that's 5c take away 3c is 2c. And on the right hand side, I'm left with just the 8. And so if 2c equals 8, well, I want to divide by 2 in order to get c on its own. c equals 4. And lastly, 6d equals 3d plus 9. Well, in this case, the smallest amount of d is the 3. So I'm going to subtract 3d from both sides of the equation. 6d take away 3d is 3d. And then on the right hand side, I would just have the 9. And then to get d all on its own, divide by 3. So d equals 3. So the next set of examples, we're just going to have a little bit more to, uh, to deal with in each case. Um, so we start with 2a take away 3 equals a plus 6. So again, first step, finding the smallest amount of a and getting rid of it. And so in this case, that is this 1a. So I'm going to subtract an a from both sides. 2a take away a, well that leaves me with just 1a. And so a take away 3 equals 6. How am I going to get a all on its own? Well I would need to add 3. And I'll have to do that on both sides of the equation. And so if I add 3, I get 9. 5b plus 2 equals b plus 6. So again, what is the smallest amount of b? It's this one. And so that is what I want to subtract. I want to get rid of a single b. So 5b take away b is 4b. 4b plus 2 equals 6. So next, what would I have to do in order to keep it balanced? Well, I would need to subtract 
2. And so 4b equals 4. And then finally, in order to get b all on its own, I would need to divide by 4 on both sides. And so b equals 1. 3c plus 7 equals 4c plus 8. In this case, what is the smallest amount of c? Well, it's actually the 3c. And it's on the left-hand side. That is absolutely fine. We can still get rid of it, and it will still solve the equation. So we'll take away 3c from both sides. If I do that, I'm left with 7 equals c plus 8. And so, how do I get c all on its own? Well, I would need to take away... 8. And if I take away 8, well that gives me 7 take away 8 is negative 1. And it leaves me with just C on the right. And so C is negative 1. In the final question, 2D take away 5 equals 9 take away 5D. What is the smallest amount of D in this case? Well, in this case it's actually the negative 5d. If it's a negative, that is going to be a smaller amount than a positive. And so to get rid of a negative 5d, well, I need to do the opposite and I need to add it. And so I'm going to add 5d to both sides. So 2d plus 5d is 7d. Take away 5 equals 9. And so then I'm going to have to add 5 in order to remain everything keeping balanced. And then finally, I'm going to have to divide by 7. And so D equals 2. Okay, and so now we come to the most complicated type that we're going to see. Uh, ones where we are involving um, brackets and ones where we are involving fractions. And so the first thing we need to do here is we need to um, deal with either the brackets or the fractions first just to try to make this look a little bit nicer to work with and so in the first situation we have two brackets a take away four equals a plus six well the first thing i would want to do here is i would actually want to expand this bracket so two times a is two a and two times negative four is negative eight and so two a take away eight equals a plus six now this is a question just like the ones we've been dealing with all the way through we now have a's on both sides we just need to get rid of the smallest amount and in this case the smallest amount is this single a on its own so we're going to subtract a from both sides 2a take away a is a take away eight equals six how do i get a all on its own well, I would then add 8 to both sides. A equals 14. With 4 brackets 6b take away 2 equals 4b plus 2. Again, first stage, I want to expand the bracket. So that's going to give me 24b take away 8 equals 4b plus 2. And the first thing I'm going to do here. I'm going to get rid of the smallest amount of b, which again in this case is the 4b. So I'm going to subtract 4b from both sides. Leaves me 20b take away 8 equals 2. I would then want to add the 8. So 20b equals 10. And finally, I would need to divide by 20. And that gives me that b is 10 divided by 20. What is 10 divided by 20? Well, it is a half. In terms of the fractions, we've got 4 plus 3c over 2 equals 3c take away 7. Now, with this one, the method of dealing with the fraction is that we want to get rid of the bit that's making it look complicated, the divide by 2. So how would I do that? Well, the way to do it would be to multiply both sides by 2. And so the left-hand side would just be the top of the fraction, 4 plus 3c. But the right-hand side, well, I would need to multiply all of that by 2. 
So 3c would become 6c and take away 7 will become take away 14. And now what we have is 3c on one side and 6c on the other side. So we need to get rid of the smallest amount, which in this case is the 3c. So I'm going to take away 3c from both sides. And so 4 equals 3c take away 14. And then if, four, if I want to get 3c on its own, I'm going to have to add 14. And if I add 14, 4 plus 14 is 18. And then finally, if I want to get c all on its own, well, I will need to divide by 3. And if I divide by 3, I get that c equals 6. The last one, 2d take away 5 equals 7 minus 5d over 3. Again, we have a fraction involved. That is the first thing we want to deal with. And therefore, I'm going to have to multiply everything by 3. So if I multiply everything by 3, the left-hand side will become 6d. And it would be take away 15. And that would equal 7 take away 5d. I need to remove the smallest amount of d and in this case that is a negative value it's the 5d and therefore I'm going to add 5d so 6d plus 5d is 11d take away 15 is equal to 7 so then I would want to add 15 to both sides so 11d equals and that's 7 plus 15 22 and so finally, in order to get D on its own, I would want to divide by 11. And so D would equal 2. And so we end with the exam question. It came from the Edexcel November 2017 paper, and it was on foundation and higher paper 2. Um, so solve 5x take away 6 equals 3 brackets x take away 1. Now, this question is a question involving brackets. So the very first thing that I want to do is actually just deal with that bracket. So the 3 times the x would be 3x. The 3 times the negative 1 would be negative 3. And that is equal to 5x take away 6. Now, our rule all the way along has been to find the smallest amount of the letter and get rid of that. And so in this case, it's the 3x that I want to get rid of. And so I put my little lines in and I'm going to take away 3x on both sides. 5x take away 3x is 2x. 2x take away 6 would equal negative 3. Then I would need to get rid of the take away 6 and I'll do that by adding it. So I'll add 6 to both sides. 2x equals negative 3 plus 6. Well, that's positive 3. And then finally, I need to get x all on its own. So how would I do that? Well, I would divide by 2. And if I divide by 2, I can just say that that's 3 over 2. And that is actually the perfect answer here. Um, if it does come to something where it's not a division that you are able to do, the fraction is a great way of giving your answer. Um, but So x would be 3 over 2.